John Riggs begins this lecture by holding something in his closed hand. His spectator names anything he wishes, and that is precisely what is written on the card folded in his hand. What did I write? Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Oh my yeah. <laughs> Right out of the gate, you've already gotten your money's worth in this lecture filled with practical miracles delivered in a disarmingly low-key manner. John Riggs isn't trying to convince you how great he is, but if you pay attention, you'll get it. For example, to answer the challenge, what am I thinking right now? He has someone name any word, and it's found written on a card secured in his wallet. What did I write? Cheese. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so give me my money. He also gives them a prediction to wear around their neck. And random numbers are chosen and openly added. And yes, the sum has been predicted correctly. Now, how about something more complicated? Like a sealed prediction that not only matches a freely chosen number and card, but accurately describes the volunteer. Both will be named by a young man, brown hair. Hold on, brown hair. A pink shirt. Hold on, pink shirt. <laughs> jeans. Hold on, jeans. Brown <laughs> then, from a bag containing hundreds of pieces of cards, John pulls out four which fit together to reveal a card from the mind of his helper. In another highly practical bit of emotional psychometry, a spectator is able to correctly identify four emotions written on blank cards. Then things get a little strange, as a daylight seance seems to contact a young departed spirit named Emma, who draws a few pictures in a chosen color and another spirit trapped in a ball of ectoplasm just doesn't want to be bothered. But two matchbooks don't mind at all helping to reveal a chosen card. Next, John shows you how to use Scrabble tiles as an improvised Ouija board, uh, make a grotesque eyeball that can't look at its own reflection, get a pendulum to actually be pushed away by an invisible force surrounding the name of the dead, and unscramble a spectator's hidden thoughts. He also asked the audience to create a horror movie, and all of our random choices have been predicted in the mind of a gaudy, glittery jack-o'-lantern. And finally, the toss of a borrowed coin decides the fate of his hands as bags are eliminated one by one until the true danger is revealed. Now, all in all, you'll find this diverse selection of mentalism and a little bizarre magic fascinating, usable, and above all, inspiring. Hi, I'm John Riggs. Join me at Penguin Live.